Atreus is one of those people who went through Fort Bragg a number of times, even though his first command was at the Fort Campbell, Kentucky. He penned a quite lengthy and detailed editorial about the reasons why those bases should be renamed, uh, saying it's ironic that American soldiers and, and Marines are being trained at bases named for people who fought against the Union back in the Civil War, that many of the people for whom these bases are named were leaders held in questionable regard, but who were elevated during the Lost Cause movement. He goes on to say, we do not live in a country to which Braxton Bragg, Henry L. Bang, or Robert E. Lee can serve as an inspiration. What does the White House say uh, to that particular point? Fort Bragg is known for the heroes within it that trained there, that deployed from there. And it's an insult to say to the men and women who left there, the last thing they saw on American soil before going overseas, and in some cases losing their lives, to tell them that what they left was inherently a racist institution because of a name. That's unacceptable to the president, and rightfully so. And I would also note, where do you draw the line here? Uh, I'm told that no longer can you find on HBO Gone with the Wind, because somehow that is now offensive. Um, where do you draw the line? Is it, should George Washington and Thomas Jefferson and James Madison be erased from history? What about FDR and because of internment camps? You know, he, should he be erased from history? Or Lyndon Johnson, who has a history of, of documented racist statements? And finally, what about people that are alleged by the media to be segregationists? NBC tells us Joe Biden didn't just compromise with segregationists. He fought for their causes in schools, experts say. CNN tells us letters from Joe Biden reveal how he sought support of segregationists in the fight against busing. And Washington Post tells us that Biden's tough talk on 1970s schools desegregation plans could get him new scrutiny. And there are several more that, where that came from. So I'll leave you with the question, should we then rename the Biden White Center? Thanks very much, guys.